AMS 2140, Coast Down Peak, and Phase Measurements. In this tutorial, I will show you how to measure Coast Down Peak and Phase using the AMS 2140. These measurements are normally used to detect resonance frequencies on rotating equipment. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. Start by selecting F7 Advanced Analyze, and then F7 More Experts. Here you see F5 Coast Down Peak and Phase for configuring the application. Before we begin collecting data, we should verify two things. First, go to F1 Manual Analyze, which is usually configured for one sensor collecting data in one direction. But natural frequencies are often different in different directions, so it makes the most sense to collect all three directions at one time. Select F12 Input Setup to activate more channels. Next, choose F1 Select Input and activate channels B and C. Now you can measure using three sensors or a triaxial sensor. The second thing to verify is that you have a TAC signal. Select F7 TAC Setup. I am using a magnetic pickup, so my TAC power is set to OFF and my trigger level is negative 12 volts. When I turn on the machine, I can see RPM data coming in, so my trigger is working. Now push Start to begin data collection. Because we are collecting data during a coast down state, I will shut off the machine and see the RPMs going down while the amplitude and phase are being captured. When the RPMs are almost zero, we can stop data collection. Press Enter to view the data, and now you can see the runout of speed versus amplitude for all three channels. If you want to see the phase plots, select F6, Switch Plot Types. Here you can specify what you want to see. For example, if you want to see only channel A, you can change plots 2 and 3. I'll make plot 3 a Nyquist plot and plot 2 a phase plot. Now all three plots displayed are for channel A. You can also use F6 to change the plots from stacked view to a quad view. You can select a phase plot and shift it 90 degrees. On the amplitude plot, you can install a cursor and identify your two natural frequencies. In this example, they are around 1,430 RPM. And 1,900 RPM. If you divide this number by 60, you have the value in Hertz. Go back to the options on the Alt-1. Select F6, Switch Plot Type, and you can make the same changes using Channel B data. And of course, you can also do the same with Channel C. All of this data can be stored in Job Mode. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com/ams2140. Thank you for watching.